This is Dropout Nation's Midweek Monitor. I'm Rashawn Biddle. Here are the top three stories that you need to follow in the world of education and school reform. First, the Schott Foundation came out with its report on New York City public schools and specifically the opportunities for educational and high quality education for black and Latino students. As you can expect, what you the Shot Foundation found isn't all that shocking, that depending on your neighborhood, depending on your zone, your child, a black and Latino child, may have a high or low chance of getting a high-quality education. And in some districts, they have almost no chance of getting one. Uh, as, of course, I have a few quibbles about it. Dropout Nation has a few quibbles, and we'll talk about it later today. But let's give credit to Shot and to Michael Holtzman, who is our contributing editor and who wrote the report, for actually pointing out once again that we must end zip code education. Meanwhile, in Alabama, there is another issue going on, this time with charter schools. Uh, that Earlier this month, the, the state legislature, the House, the House, the lower house, had basically voted to allow for charter schools to exist, but only allow charter schools to come, only 20 charter schools to come into existence. 20 charter schools, which means there will still be few opportunities or few high-quality choices of any kind for poor and poor children and minority children within that state. Now, there's another bill, or another an amended version of that bill going through the state Senate. That version would essentially only allow charters to be formed out of the conversion of low-performing traditional public schools, essentially further reducing the opportunities for, for charter operators to come in and, in the process, reducing the opportunities for families to have access and have educational opportunities. Let's be real honest here. If they don't pass this law, well, it wouldn't be the worst thing on the planet. At this point, it's frankly, whatever the Senate version comes out, that's it's worth less than, than having nothing. In New York State, there's furious debate over whether teacher performance data should be released to the public and in full view of families and taxpayers. Governor Andrew Cuomo has stood for this and has, steadf has been steadfasted for this. But the state legislature is under pressure from the American Federation of Teachers, which opposes any release of teacher data. And, of course, there's also school reformers who are supposedly bold, who oppose the release of data because they feel it's going to hurt teachers. Well, as Dropout Nation points out, this, is, this sort of view is false. And, in fact, these reformers and education traditionalists should embrace the release of teacher data. It's good for everyone. So, let, go ahead. Let, we'll see what happens and see what happens. As, I, as I'll tell you right now, listen to the Dropout Nation podcast this week talking about transforming education so we can continue progress. Also, read Dropout Nation every day for your news and commentary on the reform of American public education. This is Dropout Nation. I'm Rashawn Biddle. You have a great day.